Kyle, in the return, uh, this had to be a wonderful actor's playground for you tackling the three very different uh, roles in the show. How exciting was this to not only come back to the show, but then go, oh, David, you, you have me doing everything under the sun. Uh, it's really exciting. Uh, <laughs> how much pressure? <laughs> exciting. Frightening. Scary. Um, yeah, it was a gift that David gave to me. Um, and, you know, I've been doing this for a while, and, you know, I feel pretty capable. I can sort of handle anything that comes along, except... When I read Mr. C, I said, well, I've never done anything like this. And I gotta find this this person in, in me. And I was like, and if I don't find it, if it doesn't I knew if it didn't work, the show wasn't gonna work. So <laughs> a little pressure. <laughs> but I had an ace in the hole. <clears throat> I was working with David Lynch. <laughs> so um, together we we basically built Mr. C. Um, that, Actors will know from the outside in, we actually built him. And, uh. Uh, and then that created, of course, an interior life, um, starting with just his look, with that jacket, and that really just wrong hair. Uh. <laughs> that was so perfect. Um, down to the little detail of the pin in the back. I mean, there was, everything was very, very specific and thought through. Um, and then when we added um, a little bit of a kind of dirt, effect on his face that just sort of sold it to me. I was like, I, when, I, when I look at that, I'm like, that's it. And then I, I, we, we added also, I think it was my suggestion, I said, this guy's a shark. And I said, I think that his eyes have got, there's no life there. So yeah. I said, let's put a little um, contact in and just uh, help that. And, uh, and that also sort of moved the character closer to what I wanted. It gives him also an otherworldly kind of quality, which I thought was important. Um, so that was, and that was David and I kind of working together. And then Ducky was just, uh, <laughs> there, was a, I, there was an exercise that I did in school years ago when I was in training and it was uh, called Object Discovery. And uh, so it's, uh, it's as if you're seeing something for the first time and you, don't, you have no idea what it is or what it does. It's like a baby, you're a baby basically. Um, until you sort of, some, something about it attracts, attracts you and you interact with it, and that was pretty much Dougie. Um, so it was just finding that every day with David, which was a lot of fun. Um, and then the goal for me was always to try to make him laugh on every day. So whatever I did as Dougie, my goal was to make David break up because... <laughs> um, the other thing about Dougie was it took a lot of courage, I found, to be so still and to not do anything. Because as actors, we like to do stuff, you know, at least I do, I like to fill the moment. And this is like, man, no fill in the moment. You just, you're there, and people are looking at you, and if they're uncomfortable, and you're, it's just the way it goes. <laughs> so I took a lot of courage to try and do that. And then um, finally, when we got to Cooper, I didn't consciously think about what he might be like 25 years later. I just said, I'm different. He'll be different. So, and I just went into it with the same kind of personality, I guess, as I had with the first guy. So, uh, and that and it came out as it came out. So, it was a sort of interesting process. And then there were some little other little fun pieces along the way with um, Fat Nuggy was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be able to pat your belly like that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. So. Well, incredible performance. Thank you. Thank you.